I'm not doing anything but allowing myself to be the servant I always want to be. I didn't want to be anything else but that. And now I'm living that. I want to be a good servant. I want to do something good. And I did that. I cure AIDS, I cure diabetes, I cure sickle cell, I cure lupus, herpes, blindness. Now that is like gone. I, that was the easiest thing to do, curing AIDS and the rest of those diseases. Now I have embarked on organic, electric agriculture. And what is that? Well, what I'm going to do, if you plant a tomato plant or a okra plant or cucumber or broccoli, these plants are artificial plants. They cannot send their root into the soil and extract from the soil the minerals because they're hybrid. They are non-electrical. They only could use the sun rays and the wind, water. They cannot convert the minerals from the soil into a food. That could only be done by a natural plant that is non-starch. That process is called, the conversion is called, Iontrophorosis, according to Edward Schultz. Iontrophorosis is the, is, the, is the process in which you convert from a solid to a liquid. That could only be done by a natural plant. But since an oak is artificial, so are tomatoes and cucumbers and broccoli, what I'm going to do, knowing that they have the ability to observe water, to digest water, then I'm going to boil the natural plants, which are electrical, and feed them that and electrify that plant. So what are natural plants? What are natural vegetables? All natural vegetables are those that you find in the forest. I know some from Africa, the Kankansa, the Marula, the, the Hudia, the Popa, the Sia. I in Honduras, I know the Guaco, the Contribu, the Ombre Grande, the Sasasparilla, and many more. So I know plants from all over the world because I travel. So what I'm going to do, is boil them, remove the energy, which is electrical, and feed that to your natural plants because they do have the ability to suck up moisture and there you electrify the plant.